This is Twit. Uh, here is an interesting story about Burger King and their <laughs> new ads created by artificial intelligence. Mm-hmm. I don't think they actually were, although some people might consider ad agencies artificially intelligent. Gender reveal, ad, tender reveal, yum. It is a boy bird with crispy chicken tenders from Burger Thing. Like a lavender, but minus one. Math is tasty. Tender plus sauce equals romantic dinner. Eat the math. Pick two of these for six money bucks. BK logo appears. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, it's excellent. <laughs> So Burger natural King. and authentic. Burger King in a press release says the video is the work of a new deep learning algorithm, but an article from Ad Age says humans. Yeah, it's a joke. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Have you it. seen there's a there's a guy on Twitter who constantly posts uh I made an artificial intelligence algorithm watch, you know, a hundred episodes of Seinfeld and then it wrote one. Yeah. And he wow. picks different things. Is it? And they're they're hilarious, uh, but they're jokes. I mean, he mm-hmm. he makes them up. Okay, so this is after this is an Olive Garden commercial after. Yeah, that's a that's a really. Is good this one. after watching Seinfeld? No, so he made it watch a whole bunch of Olive Garden okay. commercials. A group of friends Alleged. laughs at a dinner table. Uh oh, click the first one. There you go. A group of friends laughs at the dinner table. A waitress comes to deliver what could be considered food. Waitress, pasta nachos for you. We see the pasta nachos. They're warm and <laughs> They're defeated. They're warm and defeated. <laughs> Friend one, the menu is here. Waitress, lasagna wings with extra Italy. We see the lasagna wings. There's more Italy than necessary. <laughs> Friend two, I shall eat Italian citizens. Waitress, <laughs> unlimited stick. We see the unlimited <laughs> stick. It is infinite. It is all. Yeah, they yeah. are warm and defeated. That's my <laughs> Friend three, leave without me. I'm home. Waitress, gluten classico. From the kitchen. We see the gluten classico. We believe the waitress that it is from the kitchen. We have no reason not to believe. Friend four says nothing. Friend one, what is wrong? Friend four. Friend four says nothing. Friend two, friend four, what is wrong? Friend four. Friend four smiles wide. Her mouth is full of secret soup. Olive Garden. When you're here, you're here. <laughs> Says the wet voice, uh, wet voice announcer. They're a great uh, parody of sort of bad. But, he, but just to design. be clear, he's writing these. This yes. isn't really. Yeah. But I think what this represents, and the Burger King thing represents, is the creeping realization that things that are presented as AI are not very smart by right. how we consider smartness. Uh, you know. In fact, human intelligence is quite an amazing thing that we are years and years and years from replicating in any convincing way. I mean, best example I've ever seen is that the day after Bill Cosby uh, was handcuffed and hauled off to prison, wow. Wow. Twitter recommended that I follow him on Twitter. Oh, my God. Nice. I don't think he'll be and tweeting like, a lot. Not going to be tweeting no. a lot. And I'm I and 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 for them to realize that it, that it come to the conclusion that I wanted to follow Bill Cosby because I mentioned him, yeah. uh, I made some crack about Jello pudding or something like that, and 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 now all of a sudden it, it, you know it's like well, you should just, follow him. If, He's funny. If a person recommended that, I would just, say just, you're an idiot. Just you're, don't take you're any drinks the from him. <laughs> <laughs> right. What, you uh, know what's funny though that that article points out that it's it's become part of marketing that you want to pretend that artificial intelligence is involved because it makes you sound really Honor. smart or that yeah. what you're doing is really and yet do you remember when facebook came out with um what was it called m or something it was its yeah. assistant that was going to help you yeah it became do racist things. and they and they pretended that it was ai even though it was yeah. human beings like well, they actually this wanted is- yeah, they this, this, this is what like happened. With a are. lot of companies are doing this, and and I think this is the, this is the big lesson for AI. I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off, Matthew. Um, there, there are a lot of anytime somebody comes out with AI that has human assistance, their intention is to say, okay, um, when there's a mistake, when there's when the when the computers can't figure something out, we have this team that will figure it out, and they will also train the algorithm so that over time we'll gradually phase out the humans. They've tried this with M, as you mentioned. Um, there's a, a great uh, AI uh, calendar scheduling meeting app uh, called Amy from a, um, AI dot or no, it's uh, X dot AI, I believe, is the company. Oh yeah. And 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 they, I'm pretty sure they're still using human assistance. The biggest yeah. 
area of this is driverless cars. What we were told yeah. was that they're developing these driverless cars and then they'll just, will turn them loose on the highways and they'll just flawlessly drive around. Um, what they've come to, to realize though is that all of these exact actual examples of self-driving cars like in Arizona and so on, they have a NASA-like control room of people who are monitoring everything and who can remotely take control. And and because because AI just cannot function mm -hmm. like a human can, uh, as Jeff would say, full stop. And so this idea that you're going to have control rooms of humans monitoring self-driving cars is going to be here for decades, I think. Uh, and if you look at some of the in Silicon Valley, some of the self-driving delivery systems, those are heavily monitored remotely. The little the little ice cooler that goes down the yeah. sidewalk, yeah. completely monitored by a control room. And so the the idea that AI is anywhere near being able to just function on its own without human input is a delusion. This is not going to happen. I would argue that this also so. extends to social media. I mean, if you look at the the problems that Facebook in particular has had, and Twitter for that matter, trying to uh, algorithmically or through machine learning recognize trolls or spam or harassment, it's it's there are nuances of human behavior that even some human beings aren't that great at recognizing, let alone yeah. being able to train an algorithm to do it. And that you just cannot do it at the kind of scale that Facebook is trying to do it. One of the most frustrating things about Zuckerberg's testimony in front of the Senate hearing was that one of the only satisfying answers that he gave was that, oh, we're on the brink of developing AI that will just right. handle this right. in real time. Right. And, and everybody's like, hmm, great, that's fantastic. In fact, that was the, the worst possible scenario. Yeah. Essentially, Facebook is saying that we kind of view AI as this rug where we can sweep, uh, under which we can sweep these things that we have to eventually yeah. apologize for. Um, it'll all happen behind the scenes. If we are deleting false positives because our algorithm falsely thinks they're fake news, no one will ever know because it's right. instantaneous in real time. And so that really bothered me. That the AI is going to handle it is not a good answer to to any of these it's, problems. It's the it's perfect not a answer because <laughs> yeah, it's the perfect because answer. a a lot of people go, oh, that's great, and b if it fails, who gets the blame? The know. AI, right. Right? right? right. It's a perfect answer. This yep. guy's no fool. By the way, that uh, that Olive Garden parody is written by comedian Keaton Patty. You could follow him on Twitter at K E A A K E A T O N P A T T I. And I, for one, want lasagna wings with more Italy than ever before. I think Warman defeated makes a nice showtime. <laughs> Warman defeated. <Yeah. laughs>